Something like that. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brad Snyder. I'm a Paralympic swimmer. My favorite movies are the Star Wars movies. If I had to pick one, I would say Empire Strikes Back. In September of 2011, I, I was a service member in Afghanistan. I was part of a Navy platoon working with Afghan uh, special forces trying to battle the Taliban there in Kandahar. Unfortunately, I stepped on an improvised explosive device buried in the ground, and as a result of the blast, uh, I lost my vision. I was really fortunate to come away alive and uh, largely unharmed, but un the, the damage to my face was irreparable. And it's been about three or four years since then, and this year was the first year we all went back to the, the theater and watched Star Wars as a family. It's a, been a fun thing for my family to sit down and describe what does Harrison Ford Han Solo look like now? You're Han Solo! I used to be. So I can really connect to that film in any unique way. The Star Wars series being something that grounds me to when I used to have my vision, like, I don't know what Jennifer Lawrence looks like. She came to prominence after I lost my vision. So, that you know, she's a, she's a blank canvas for me. However, Harrison Ford uh, and Carrie Fisher are people that I remember. So, like, I can really vividly imagine those characters. I got a bad feeling about this. All of us have had to go through some really tragic instances and really evaluate who we are and find the good in the situations that we find ourselves in and, and be resilient and continue to move forward. And I think that, that definitely is something that's portrayed on screen uh, with specifically the character of Luke Skywalker. Use the Force, Luke. What's cool about the Force is the Force is just kind of a, it's a fictional term for the intangibles around us, right? There's so many things going on that we may control or we may not control. And in the Paralympic world, for sure, when you're standing behind the blocks in front of 18,000 people and there's this really big event and the finals and the adrenaline and all these different things going on, you know, there's a lot of intangible forces around you and you have to find a way to negotiate those forces and, you know, execute a good race. I wouldn't proclaim Jedi Swimmer. I, maybe I'm trying to become one.